The link down below has been replaced, but I still urge you to head to the link below, educate yourself, and consider supporting Ukraine financially. All the sources down there have been vetted. Your money will go to the right place. And more garbage. It's a book this time. All right, it was a free one. No, no, I don't care about the survival rules right now, Klee. I've got to get off this dock. Of course, now we have to talk to everybody. God only knows how long so that's going to take. So you're the blonde traveler that everyone's been talking about. My apologies for not recognizing you earlier. Can I please just... Oh, a magic pocket? Seems you really thought of everything. I guess it's better to prepare for the worst and hope for the best. No, that's actually Thanks. a pretty good uh, please. philosophy. Please, also thank the magician on my behalf when you get the chance. Wait, oh my god, that was short. We might not actually be here very long. Wait, oh my god. Nice. <laughs> What's this? Ah, so you also believe in the prophecy. <laughs> Keep it. I won't have any use for it. What? You mean, you don't believe in the prophecy? No, no, I believe in the prophecy. But I also believe in another story. Oh. The story says that people once lived in the ocean. They were one with the ocean and couldn't live apart from it. But as time wore on, people desired to live on land and developed blood vessels, encapsulating the sea within their bodies. Thus, could people set foot on land. It's called evolution. So, if you ask me, when the water rises and takes us all, it'll be like we're going home. Oh, we hadn't heard that one before. But people can't live underwater. They'll die. You should probably still take it. <sighs> all right, I'll take it. I guess I just feel that being dissolved into the water doesn't necessarily mean death. No, it does mean death. Don't dissolve in the water. Don't die. Aug Augur. I'm going to call you Augur. <laughs> Mr. Augur. As far as I can tell, this is a nation of science. Why do they even have a doomsday prophecy? Statue of the Seven is way up there. <sighs> Alright, who's getting the last one? You, captain on the boat. Boat captain person. Huh? <laughs> I don't want that thing. The way I see it, if the prophecy's true, it's still gonna be a long time before the water can cover everything. Yeah, but take Life it ever is all anyway. About living it, in the it's moment. cool. What use is there in worrying about the future all the time? I'm giving we'll you a bag of holding! You should still take it. You never know when it'll come in handy. It's a bag of friggin' holding! Oh, all right, fine. Thanks. It's just that... If I start moving, that means I've already given up on the life I have now. I'd really rather not. Then don't! Just take the bag of holding it, because it's cool! It's friggin' awesome! That's like one of the it's like one of the best D and D items. Like, it's the best thing ever. <laughs> oh, you already handed out all of the magic pockets? Hm. That was fast. So, what did people have to say? I bet you heard some uh, interesting opinions. When I finally get back to doing D and D, I am totally calling the bag of holding that Sandra has a magic frickin' pocket at some point, and then I'm gonna pass it off like, "Hey, what? What I say?" 
I don't know why I said that. Yes, but that will change once disaster strikes. I know they'll change their minds, so it's only right to help them prepare. Is there anything else you need to do before we leave? Yes, one last thing. Can't I have we the leave? magic pockets made by a workshop in the court of Fontaine. Since we're out and about, I was thinking about bringing him some more materials. So, you want to collect materials? Just tell us what the materials look like, and we'll help! Many hands make light work! Oh, that would be much appreciated. We'll need some Romaritime flowers. I remember seeing them near the waterfront on the east side of the harbor. East side, got it. East side. There's got to be some crazy cave behind that waterfall. Everybody knows that every video game needs a secret cave behind the waterfall. It seems we have to use Hydra to collect Romaritime flowers. On it. <laughs> On it. Don't worry. Easy. What's this? This is probably some kind of character level up material. We should grab as many as we can while we're here. Also, I just really want to get away from those guys. Oh, wow. I can't even get near the dang thing. By the way, there should totally be just this gush of mist coming up off the water, if it's this tall. Let's stand. Anyway. God, can you imagine not having a Hydro character at this point of the game? Wow, that would suck. Can't believe it. He made quick work of that. I can tell you're an experienced traveler. I've also finished collecting a few here. Don't patronize Maybe me. Maybe next time you'll feel like helping too, Lynette. No way. I'm in power saving mode today. Otherwise, I fear I may not have any energy left for the performance at the Opera House. He's throwing shade at you. Ah, <sighs> fine. Though the performance is still a long way off. Now that we're finished here, we should get ready to head back to the Court of Fontaine. So, we're going to the Court of Fontaine before we head to the Opera House? Good. Paimon wants a tour of Fontaine's largest city and try... Okay. Why are we walking Wait, away? Shh. Have you noticed that person over there? The young girl. Huh? What's wrong with her? Hyman didn't notice anything. <laughs> She's obviously a thief. Then magicians and thieves grab practice her. similar methods. We divert attention and a distracted audience is one that won't discover what you're really doing. Watch her movements carefully. your voice down. We need to think of a way to catch her, but it seems she's very alert. Perhaps we should split up. But we just saw her do it. We are witnesses to the crime. You can the over there and wait up top. I bet that'll be her escape route if she tries to run. All okay. right, let's go. Uh, finally, we're getting away from these people. Ugh. I was afraid they'd never shut up. I'm starting to think I can't get the boat up there. Okay, no, I definitely can't. There is an elevator here, though. Where do you want me to stand?
still wants me to go up, so... because you can't talk in elevators. That's the rule. <laughs> All right, finally. Our Statue of the Seven. Uh -huh. What the hell is that? Is it like an aqueduct? Or something? It's neat. I don't know what's happening here. Also, they're not actually talking. Mysterious power that flows from the statue to imbue you with the blessing of the transonic source water. Your progress will remain unhindered so long as you are moving through the lakes of Fontaine. What? Under the protection of the transoceanic source water, what, what you expend while moving underwater is not stamina, but aquatic stamina. As such, when your aquatic stamina is expended, you will not drown. Can I not drown anymore? I gotta go swimming. Hang on. <laughs> One second, I gotta go swimming. Ah, shit. This is the spot where Lenny wanted us to wait. I don't want to wait. I'm gonna go swimming. Let me go swimming. Bye bye. Oh, look. Isn't that her? Oh, God damn it. I guess we're doing this. Fine. Oh no! Did she notice us? She started running the other direction! What should we do? Should we chase her? No, we should go swimming. <laughs> Our job is to block this path. Uh, you're right. She might also be trying to lure us away. Uh, she got now. away. I'm a wonder if Lenny caught the thief. Nah, she got away. <sighs> yeah, let's go. Okay, finally. <laughs> there is no stamina drain in water. Not here, anyway. I have to test this. Hang on. Alright, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Can I just do this anywhere now? Or did that thing say I can only do it in Fontaine? You guys will excuse me one moment. It only works in Fontaine. Damn it! <sighs> See, I could jump off that thing now because I got the... Wait. Where'd the thing go? There was a thing here. Also, yes, it is an aqueduct. And that's kick-ass. Yeah. <laughs> 
Are you sure that's all she took? You should check to make sure you're not missing anything else. N no, that was all. Oh, I can't thank you enough. I didn't notice a thing earlier. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I should be going now. Thanks again. Oh, were you returning what the thief had stolen? That's right. Pity I wasn't able to catch her. She distracted me by dropping the thing she stole on the ground. By the time I looked back, she was already gone. 83 cents and a gum wrapper. I saw the general direction she went, but Lenny twisted his ankle, and I needed to make sure he was okay. What? Oh, did you get hurt, Lenny? I'll be alright. It's just a twisted ankle, that's all. In fact, it's feeling better already. If you want to play at being a hero, at least try not to get hurt doing it. Imagine what would happen if you managed to derail our performance as a result. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Sorry, Lynette. <sighs> I have to admit that the thief was even more skilled than I had anticipated. But at least we were able to get the stolen items back, so it wasn't a complete failure. What okay. a slippery little thief! Guess things turned out all right in the end, though. Lenny's initiative paid off! Alright, let's put this little detour behind us. We should go to the Court of Fontaine now. Is that like further up the aqueduct, by the way? Or is... <laughs> the Aqua Bus. <gasps> that sounds fucking metal as fuck, dude. Genius way to get around. People in Fontaine really know how to use water. Yeah, but aqueducts are primarily used as irrigation. Having a bus line over that it's rather inefficient. It can only go one place, and if you wanted to go other places, you gotta build more aqueducts. This is an aqua bus. It allows people to travel between several key locations around Fontaine. It's pretty convenient, but the ride can become a little dull after a while. The scenery is always the same. That's why it's better to travel with friends. So you mean it's still boring even when I'm riding with you? Hey. <gasps> There's a dog! Uh, no, that's not what I meant. It's just that, uh, well, you don't really talk that much. Besides, it doesn't really feel like a real trip when it's just the two of us. It's the same as being at home. <laughs> Hmm. Whatever. Guess that's what it's like to be an older brother. <laughs> it's about time for us to leave. Let's get on board. Okay, but can I, like, do this with... Who are you? Who is this? I wanted to grab that thing, and now it's gone, and... Oh, excuse me! Aren't you the great magician, Linny? And his assistant, Lynette? Hello. I don't believe we've... Oh my god, we're going to... Oh god. I just I'm figured out what's happening. The They're gonna make nice us go through this whole conversation the on this slow-ass huh? boat. We've often relied on your paper to promote our performances. Wait. Hang on. Will it actually just keep moving? So I could it's go through the- meet you. Wait, oh my god, I did not click that. Wait, could that be the legendary traveler who's been making headline after headline in their journey across to that? I did not pr Auto mode is not on, it's making it go through this. Also, haven't we met her? <laughs> I wouldn't be much of a reporter if I didn't know who's who, would I? Weren't you in Leeway? Wow, today must be my day. Who knew I would end up on the same boat as so many VIPs? Could my vision finally be showing me some favor? No, it's not. So, Charlotte. 
What do you usually report on? <gasps> There's a shipwreck over there. You see that? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Well, when there isn't any breaking news, I mainly cover the trials at the Opera House. Okay. You can still manage to keep readers' <laughs> attention as long as you tell things from a clever enough angle, even if it's the same old topics. The game is like, look, I really need you to move through this conversation. For example, reporting on how a scammer once deceived vulnerable girls into relationships, or how a financial criminal was once so poor that they ate a single piece of bread for five days. That's kind of boring, actually. That's fine and all, but what I'm really after is exclusive, sensational news pieces that could shake the country. These smaller stories are a waste of my talents. Oh, I just remembered. I've been following a case lately. Well, a series of cases, actually. Okay. You mean the serial disappearances of young women case. That's right. These stories are the talk of the town right now, and it's probably the most I'm mysterious sorry, it's a... case we've ever seen. Is the ride getting rough the or first so why is the camera the doing this? When the case is finally cracked, and it's the headline story in the Steambird. The Steambird. Oh, when that happens, I bet all the other reporters will shed tears of envy. I've already gathered all kinds of materials. I just can't wait for the truth to be revealed. I want to see the so, steampunk town. Disappearances of young women case. You mean the culprit hasn't been found? Or is it hydropunk? That's right. Might the be first hydro missing punk. girl case happened almost 20 years ago. And ever since, after a period of time, another girl disappears. What the cases have in common is that the girls oh. are all of a similar age. There's and Celestia, that all it's way over there. Without a trace. Wait. But the is that Celestia? Wait, no, that's not that Celestia, is it? None of the girls have ever been found. I don't think it's Celestia. Yeah, that doesn't have been look arrested like it. Over the years in connection with this case, but shortly after each arrest, another disappearance would always happen. You know what? There are too many floating islands now for me to point out Celestia to you guys. Yes, it's possible. But either way, I believe that every well, case has some down precise there. truth what behind it, waiting to be exposed. <laughs> yes, I agree. And at the very least, the family of those missing girls deserves some sort of explanation. <laughs> I just imagined for a second what I would do if Lynette Wait, was is that the town? here. <gasps> I'd pay any price to get her back, and then find a way to track down the culprit. Please don't imagine that, Lenny. There's a bird. Why is there a bird? Uh, you keep talking. That's the problem with this game, is that we just keep talking. I was kind of hoping they would give us a break here. Hey, we're almost there, look! Alright, let's see it. Mm-hmm. Plenty of fishing spots. I'm counting on there being new fish. Huh. Have to say, I'm a bit disappointed. So far, at least. I guess I. I was expecting a more Albion look, I guess. Well, I really enjoyed chatting with you. Life should be full of pleasant little surprises like this. Yeah, us as well. The ride went by too quickly. No, oh, it didn't go uh, by fast to enough. I should get going before I'm late. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Sorry. <laughs> what a tough job. Always running around and interviewing everyone. <sighs> well, where should we go now? I want to see everything. If you don't mind, how about we stop by my home first? Besides, I still have all the materials we collected. That sounds really boring. Sure, we wouldn't mind at all. 
This city is so huge, Paimon wouldn't know where to start anyway. Statue of the Seven. I want the map. We're not going to his house, we're going to that statue. <sighs> Wait, oh my god, we're still... <sighs> still? Okay, this is more like it. Now. Now we're talking. I like this. This is cool. Oh, finally. Where's that statue? Let's see. Plug that into our navigation. It's that way. I think it's up higher. Not sure. Hang on. Unfortunately, our route is going to take us right by Liney's house. You see, this is more like it. Okay, but how do I get... The little statue. This place is fucking huge, actually. It's bigger than Mondstadt. To be fair, Mondstadt wasn't actually that big. Well, I think we found the forge. Good, good. Always good to know where that is. They usually have all the important stuff kind of grouped together, like the crafting table, the food vendors. Ah. I'm guessing that's around here. Ah. There she is. Catherine. Ad Astra Abyssosk. I need to move these. I am sorry, but you. I need to move Add my Astra. commissions. I don't think I do it with her. Well, we found her. Okay, see, here we go. There's the bench. There's the. So and so shop. There's always a so and so shop. There's always a Catherine. <sighs> I'm now 86% sure it is a robot. <laughs> yeah, okay. This is basically our little hub. We always get that little hub. Okay. So how do I get out of here? Or is there like... Wait. Shit, don't tell me. There's an elevator in the middle? Possibly. I'm used to there being nothing but stairs. That's what's messing me up. Okay. Oh, elevator's not here. this. <laughs> uh, okay, we have some options here.
this isn't it. The thing is still higher up. All right, try the third floor. Still higher up. Who are you? There's a little person. <laughs> See, here we go. That's what I'm looking for. That's what it's all about. It's another one of these little guys. So when do I get one in my party? Ah, there we go. The Court of Fontaine. It looks like the aqueduct fell down over there. Whoops. <laughs> looks like that one broke. This seems like a very expensive transportation system. You'll sometimes encounter teleport waypoints and domain entrance map bearing sub icons. These symbols indicate that the destination is located in a multi layered area. Okay. I'll figure it out, don't worry. Wait, whoa! Under C map. How do I, how do I do that? How do I access that again? There we go. I think there are shipwrecks down there? Hang on. I gotta see this. <laughs> okay, I'm over it. <laughs> Alright, I at least have to try resonating with Hydro. Let's see. I don't hate that. It's <laughs> I'm not a fan of its recharge time, but I don't hate that. Does it charge? Go! Okay, I really don't hate that, actually. Definitely better than Dendro. I was considering going back to Electro, actually. Dendro kinda sucked. Electro was pretty this good. This is our current abode. Ah, Fremine, your home. Where did everyone else go? I have some new friends that I would like to introduce. We are not friends. Oh, they all just went out a moment ago. I see. Everyone is getting busier now that yeah, I just had the space bar on that one. I suppose that can't be helped. Allow me to introduce you to my little brother, Fremine. He is a phenomenal diver. Okay. Uh Hello. The shy type, I nice see. Nice to meet you. Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler. Oh, you sound very proud to have a diver as a brother, Linny. Well, it's because divers do extremely dangerous work. <laughs> uh, Linny, could you come here for a moment? Like, they could die. For incredibly stupid and avoidable reasons. Never go diving. All you ever hear about diving, especially in caves and stuff, is how they're how they're always dying. Hmm? What is it, Fremine? Do you have something to tell me? I want a divorce. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, I 
see. He doesn't approve of me. Is everything all right? It's because I switched oh, to blue, it's isn't nothing. it? nothing. We were just discussing a little housework. Sorry for the interruption. This will come up later. Before I forget, the Traveler and I collected more materials to make magic pockets. Were you able to get any, Fremine? Yes. I went diving and gathered lots of materials. I was about to give them to you. When do I get to dive? That's our Fremine. Always quick with the underwater work. Clearly All the... All right, I'll take these to the workshop. Can I dive now? Huh. It's raining. Hmm. Looks like rain. Oh well. You see it all the time. You're right! But wasn't it clear and sunny just a moment ago? Hmm. Fontaine's weather sure is weird. Yeah, that's global warming. <laughs> I'm afraid that's just how it is here. It often rains on days where there are trials being held in the Opera House, but don't worry, it'll clear up soon enough. Yeah. <sighs> Again, global warming. Those freak mm -hmm. storms. What's wrong, Fremine? There's a legend about the rain that I tend to believe. It's said that a dragon of water once resided in Fontaine. Though we don't know where the dragon went, every time it weeps, the skies will cloud up and pour out rain. Well, then it's been crying a lot lately, hasn't it? There's a lot to be sad about. When I was a child, my mother told me that if I wanted to go outside and play, I should yell toward the sky at the top of my lungs. Hydro Dragon! Hydro Dragon! Don't cry! Water dragons. <sighs> if it's an elemental dragon, then having the power to make it rain wouldn't be very unusual. Hmm. Let Paimon try something. What do you got? Hydro Dragon! Hydro Dragon! Don't cry! He just told you to... Hmm? Hmm. Huh. Doesn't seem to be of any use. It is just a legend, after all. You know, you might be a more popular magician if you understood the concept of romanticism. Or could at least play along. <laughs> Sorry. It might be because we've never met the Hydro Dragon. Perhaps it can't be comforted by the words of strangers. Do you want to meet the Hydro Dragon? Hmm. It rained for longer than I suspected. Oh, it's already getting late. Was there something you needed to do, Lenny? Yeah, some preparations for the show at the Opera House. I need to find a way to catch the last Aquabus of the day. On the day of the performance, just ride the Aquabus to the island of Araneus. I'll have Lynette meet you at the fountain in front of the Opera House. Araneus. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, are you leaving now? That was the plan. What is it, Fremine? I'm in a hurry. Oh, I get it. You feel nervous delivering the materials for the magic pockets, is that it? Perhaps we could trouble the Traveler to help us take these materials to the Beaumont workshop and deliver them to the owner there? I'm afraid that Fremine is quite introverted. No, no, I got and that. the boss there tends to be pretty talkative. <laughs> Fremine has always been a little afraid of her. Everyone in this game is talkative. I'm used to it. Sorry for the inconvenience. I'm quite useless when it comes to such tasks. I'll think of a way to make it up to you. Oh, no need, no need. This will be a walk in the park for us. It probably won't, though. But you say that... And then something blows up. 